Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And we're gonna talk about firefighters and family law. Before we begin, I'd ask that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below so you can stay up to date with this and other videos that we have. Family law in Florida is essentially very similar no matter what industry or profession the parents or parties are in. However, firefighters have a unique set of issues that needs to be appropriately addressed when dealing in their paternity or divorce case, or even child support. We're gonna talk about some of those today. One of the things I wanna talk about, which I believe is the most important thing, is firefighters and time sharing. I've talked about in videos before about how time sharing works, the rules and the laws in Florida. However, firefighters have a very specific work schedule that they operate under called the Kelly schedule, in which they operate on 24 hour cycles with a cycle off and a cycle on or some variants of that. Essentially, firefighters do not work the typical eight to five, nine to five schedule that many other industries may have. This poses a very difficult set of circumstances when trying to operate and create a time sharing schedule for a firefighter to have time with their children. Now, the simplest answer to this would be that both parents work together and have a very specific schedule which allows for accommodation of the firefighter's schedule and to allow that person to have time sharing with the kids. However, if this is a matter that goes before the court, it is important to make sure to lay out the proper evidence to show the type of schedule you have and then the type of availability you would have otherwise and to make sure you specifically request a time sharing schedule that allows that flexibility that you may need to operate not only as a firefighter, but a parent. Another unique issue that happens within firefighter families is dealing with the retirement and pension benefits. Firefighters, as well as a lot of other agencies such as police officers, military professionals, or even otherwise government employees have very interesting retirement and pension benefits, which can vary depending on whether it's state, local, city, and the like. If a firefighter ends up divorcing, depending on the length of time they've been married, these pensions and retirement benefits are subject to equitable distribution. That being said, dealing with the valuation and how those benefits will be distributed can be very complicated. There is also the conversation that happens if the retirement benefit allows what is called for a survivorship, which for a couple extra dollars a month, if that benefit, if that benefit allows, the spouse, the surviving spouse, can be able to maintain and get that entire pension or a portion of it even after that firefighter has passed away. These are typically very complex matters that are very difficult to deal with, just, you know, tongue in cheek if you're dealing with a very complex divorce, especially with a firefighter. One of the other things you want to keep in mind is that getting discovery and information about those retirement benefits can also be complicated as sometimes a lot of these firefighters and these organizations usually use third parties. So having a knowledge of how to collect discovery, subpoena records and the like will be very important in making sure that there is a fair and accurate valuation of those benefits and how they would be distributed in an equitable distribution scheme. Child support issues involving two parents in which one may be a firefighter can also be complicated. One thing that many firefighters tend to do 
due to their schedule is operate with a lot more overtime. Or throughout the history of their time as firefighters, they would regularly work overtime. That being said, if a parent who's a firefighter, or any parent for that matter, does overtime, this overtime, whether voluntary or not, can be calculated as part of their child support obligation. So it's important to note that while you may just be working extra hours while you can, doing it for enough time, it will count as income. And if you're the other parent who's trying to get a healthy idea as to how much the firefighter parent is making, you have to keep in mind that that overtime is a real thing and that that's something that you want to get a healthy calculation of when determining child support. Something else to keep in mind is the number of overnights that that firefighter parent will have and how it would affect child support. And that if that firefighter parent does have an increased amount of child support, how that would affect the amount of overtime they'd be able to do. What also can affect that overtime calculation is if that firefighter parent gets newfound additional time sharing with the minor child. Because if that increase in time sharing affects their ability to get that additional overtime, that typically isn't calculated as part of their income. So there's a lot of nuance as it relates to dealing with the income of that firefighter parent, the time sharing, if they're getting overtime and all those other issues. Firefighters in family law is just like any other family. They have their own unique set of issues and they need to be dealt with carefully. If you or someone you know are a firefighter or their partner's a firefighter and they're experiencing family law issues, please share this video. And if you have any other questions on how to operate a family law case, if you or your partner are a firefighter, feel free to contact our office. And please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.